The European Space Agency is about to embark upon its second long-term mission to the International Space Station. Frank de Winner, a Belgian member of ESA's astronaut corps, will be launched on board a Russian Soyuz spacecraft this May for a six-month stay in orbit. This will be the longest stay on board the station since the German astronaut Thomas Reiter's mission in 1996, which lasted 171 days. Frank has been a member of the European Astronaut Corps for nine years, and this will be his second flight to the space station. He'll be traveling to the ISS along with Canadian Space Agency astronaut Robert Thursk and the Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko. Once in orbit, they'll join the three astronauts already on board the station, bringing the crew up to six for the first time ever. Whilst dramatically increasing the amount of experiments which can be carried out during Frank's stay, this will not be without its challenges. This mission to the International Space Station has been named OASIS, inspired by the spirit of exploration and the idea of a permanent human outpost in space. OASIS will be especially significant for ESA, the European Space Agency, as Frank is set to become the first European commander of the ISS. This means that he'll have overall responsibility for operations on board the station, as well as for the safety of its crew and equipment. During the OASIS mission, Frank will operate the station's main robotic arm, using it to attach the Japanese HTV-1 cargo spacecraft to the International Space Station when it arrives in the autumn. He's also been trained to use the robotic arm attached to Kibo, the Japanese experimental module and will be using this to lift various pieces of experimental equipment from the HTV and attach them to the outside of Kibo. Frank has undergone intensive preparations for the mission, including periods in Germany, Japan, Houston and Russia. Such rigorous training has ensured that he's ready for the challenge of commanding an international crew and fully prepared for the huge array of experimental work that he's scheduled to conduct in orbit. Most of Frank's scientific research will be carried out within the European Columbus Laboratory, a specialized module which was attached to the station in February 2008. Using cutting-edge European technology, the OASIS mission is expected to yield vast amounts of scientific data, helping ESA to push forward its role as the helm of research in microgravity. Overall, the OASIS mission will be a very significant landmark for ESA's journey into the development and exploration of space. By the time he returns to Earth in 2009, Frank de Winner will have shown the world how much Europe has to offer in the way of technical expertise and organizational skill, as well as gaining ESA valuable experience in orbit for the coming years of space exploration missions to the moon and beyond.